Hi, and welcome to today's show. This exclusive program is brought to you by ChelseaFan12.com. And tonight, Chelsea put the disappointment from the weekend behind them to beat their local rival Spurs by two goals to nil. So here we are outside Stamford Bridge. It's very quiet, I've got to say, for a match night. And a 2 0 win for Chelsea against the Spurs. Great atmosphere with Gary and Ron again. It's really quiet. The, the Spurs fans went home a bit early, I think. Well, I think they're very fickle, the Spurs supporters. It at the most probably been minging out here, Chips, wouldn't it, if they'd have won? <laughs> yeah. But uh, I used to live not too far from the Spurs uh, years ago and uh, a place called Stamford Hill. Yeah. And uh, you could always tell when we come home from Chelsea uh, if it was deserted by this salt beef uh, <laughs> place. <laughs> you knew Spurs got beat, and it typifies it tonight. You can't see too many of them. You can't see any of them. I mean, we're about what, 20 minutes after the game, and there's not one Spurs fan around. It's incredible. Yeah, if you think they've have got nothing to cheer about because they were completely outplayed tonight. I think we looked at a Spurs Spurs team tonight that looked tired, mm. and they, they got a little bit frustrated the way Chelsea play. Give us credit by you know, yeah. by the way. But I thought we played ever so well. Uh, tonight, as we did on as we did on Sunday against the against the City, but um, yeah, we played well tonight and deserved what the, the the result we got. It seems that Chelsea can get up for the big games and get motivating, but for the you know, the smaller teams, it's difficult. If we played this late every week, it would be great, I think. Well, I think if we were to play like that, uh, you know, uh, every week, that uh, we would definitely be in the top four. Mm. Uh, at the moment, we're still what in sixth place. Uh, and it's, I think it's going to be a bit of a, a push to get into the top four. Uh, maybe, hopefully, the Spurs might crack up because they've lost their last couple of games. So, uh, you know, I suppose it would be interesting, well, good for us if uh, we did get in the top four. Yeah, we need to get in Champions League football for a, a club like this. The financials are so much different than the Europa League, aren't they? Yeah, you, you know, we, we know it's at the... Uh, End of the trail, as to speak. You know, we know we know what we're aiming for, but we're going for the, obviously the Champions League place. Listen, we I think we've already got a Europa Europa League place. If you know, yeah, yeah. if we need to fall back on, but that's that's the prize we want. We, we we must we must try to do anything we can to get in get in that top four. I thought Angola Kanti on Sunday was immense, and tonight in his new role was unbelievable once again. And and he's showing that he's not just a defender that mops up like Makaleli did and like like you did in your time. But my goodness me, he can play as well, can't he? Well, I, th- I think that uh, when you think how well he played last season, he was I think the player of the season. Yeah. And I I don't think he's played as well this season because he's played in a different role. But I think the last few games he's played in he's uh, he's done tremendous it's, it's amazing isn't it? that we were able to get him from Leicester so many clubs must have wanted to buy him yeah he, he covers so much ground as well when he plays he does a lot of unselfish work in front in front of the back four you know he mops up everything there and he's, he's making breaks going forward I mean yeah a, a, a terrific player and it, when you see him play and, and you're watching him, the movement on him, mm. he's just c- continually moving for the whole of the 90 minutes. Some player. Now, I've got to ask you about Sunday. You were there at the cup final. At, at what stage did you think, I'm going to go on the pitch in a minute and take this Kepper off? What, what, what your thoughts well, on that? Well, I just thought it was strange because, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, from what you, you, you read in the papers... Uh, you know, he's supposed to have had a cramp. Mm. Uh, the other the other keeper, the Chelsea keeper, was supposed to be good at saving penalties. Yeah. But what would have happened if uh, they would have forced... Uh, the You know, the keeper... The, you know, what should I say? If they, if, if they forced him off uh, and Caballero come on, who's supposed to be good at saving penalties uh, but conceded every one yeah. it don't you know people so, are turned around and yeah. say well why did the manager want to change the keepers and yeah. I think it proved that the keeper uh, you know was okay because uh, supposedly it only got cramped but you don't know un- unless you was there what the real reason 
that it was to be truthful. If you were a manager though, Gary, and you were standing in Sarah's position in front of millions of people watching and your goalkeeper said, no, no, it's all right, it's all right, I'm not coming. And they put the, they put the number up, numbers up there to change him and he doesn't come off. You know, he's walking halfway down the tunnel. What, what would you do? You, you'd go mad, I bet you would, I know you. No, but you, you're looking at the, uh, the, the referee as well and the, uh, the fourth official. Listen, if, if they've put uh, a card in, you have to put a card into yeah. the fourth official yeah. to, to come off. Now, if Caballero steps on that pitch, yeah. he's got to come off. Well, that's what I said. He should have just gone on the pitch, shouldn't no. he? If he'd have gone on the pitch, he would have, he would have got to come off. He would have made his mind. Yeah. It, you know, there was a lot of confusion about Arida Balaga. You know, he, he a bit of cramp. He was worried, or the manager was worried about him, and, he, and Caballero had a great, uh, great, uh, yeah, against. He, he, in fact, he um, he come from Manchester City, yeah. didn't he? So he knows he knows where the penalties is going, and you can understand the reasoning behind it, bringing him on like that. I just think it was a total, absolute, total mix-up, and it's maybe it might be a language problem or something like that. But when you look at it like that. Um, it, it looked fast call, really, yeah. You were captain for many years here at the club. Is it not the right thing for Aspil Equator, who's Spanish, so there's no language problem, to go up to the keeper and go, you get me your bum off the pitch? Because David Luiz went up to him and sort of said, don't disrespect Sarri. Shouldn't the captain get involved on the pitch uh, at the time? Well, I, you know, it never happened in my time because, uh, you know, but it just seems strange. You know, I don't think that uh, with me being captain would have uh, made any difference with, with you know? me with a keeper. It's, it's the manager's decision that he wanted to change it. So you've got to respect him mm. for that. And then you have, you know, the press have had a field day. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, over it, it's, it's back pages. Mm. Uh, you know, what's going to happen next time game or next... Uh, game at Fulham is the goalkeeper going to come back or is he going to? Do you think Caballero will start on Sunday? No. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I think he will yeah. because yeah. Uh, people, are, managers are normally reluctant to change your winning side chips, and the fellas kept a clean sheet and. Uh, and he's done yeah. well tonight. Would he's you expect well. to play if you were Caballero? Yes. Yeah. And he's one hundred percent. I think he'll be playing. Uh, playing on Sunday. You know, he's put in a good performance tonight. Mm. He's he's very he's got a good pair of hands comes for crosses, kicks well, you know, it, it, we all know he's a, a fantastic goalkeeper. Well, they're going to come for crosses on Sunday because they've got Mitrovic, haven't they, the centre yeah, forward, yeah. they're going to be lumping it in the box on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, and Mitrovic is, is good in the air, he's a battler, yeah. and, it, and, and, and do you know what, you, you need to be strong as well playing against him, because yeah. he, he'll thump the keeper as well, mm. he's a big FD striker and a decent player. We've got the Europa League next week again, it's uh, Dynamo Kiev coming into town and this is where it gets interesting now two leg you've got to keep a clean sheet at home haven't you well I think that uh, you know it's got, I think it'd be a difficult game for Chelsea because they're I think they're always uh, a very very experienced side uh, so uh, I think you need to go over there you know, with an advantage. Yeah. You know, I don't know what the weather's like, but uh, it's normally cold up there. A this bit time chilly, of year, so, it, uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, I think it's going to be a difficult game for Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon it's going to be a tough one? Yeah, it will be a tough one. All depends where how we adapt, and what side he puts out. You know, when you come to the latter stages, everyone's a decent side, and they must be in form. And Dynamo, Dynamo Key ever be in form as well, so it'd be a difficult game for us, but one that we can handle. Did they ever put your number up to take you off as a substitute and you refused? Do you know what? I, 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 was, I was telling the story before. Uh, I, had, um, I had an injection in my back, a cortisone injection in my back, and I played one game, and the cortisone injection wore off with like five minutes to go, right. but they wouldn't bring me off, right. and I was dying to come off. And, 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 and it, after that game, I never had a cortisone injection again. Did you not? No. No. And, and why wouldn't they take you off? Because I was marking Leroy Resenia, who oh. was half decent in the air. So, yeah, they, they, and I was playing quite well at the time, so, yeah, they kept me on. I bet you were spitting feathers afterwards, weren't you? I was going absolutely <laughs> ballistic, to be quite honest with you. And the pain in my back yeah. was incredible. And that's why, after that, I said, I'm never having a, a quarter yeah. zone again. And luckily, I can still walk. And, yeah. Did you have caught his own? Cause, uh, yeah, I had a, uh, before the cup final against Leeds. Uh, you know, it's a killer, we, isn't it? We played a game here on the the midweek game, and I I don't know why I went on a 
a stupid sprint and pulled a muscle and up until the Thursday of the cup final I didn't have any chance whatsoever of playing, I hadn't trained for two weeks mm. uh, and we went to see our specialist, a lad called Lippy Kessel up in Harley Street and they brought the old big needle out and uh, mm. you know, he just said to me, do you want to play? So I said, well, of course I do. Yeah. And uh, he gave me this jab and uh, he said, go back to the bridge. He said, and uh, you'll be able to do whatever you want. And I, I couldn't believe him really. I, I thought, well, that's my chance, he's gone. And I come down here and, you know, like was able to run around, which I couldn't even walk before. And uh, we had one before the game and uh, I'll come off at half time because the pitch was ankle deep in mad and I and trained for the best part of three weeks mm. and I was that tired but the replay was about three weeks later so it gave me time but <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend now I don't think these fellas have uh, quarter zones today Tuesday no, they don't, because no, they don't play uh, with pains, you know no, they, they don't don't for you yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no they you know that's that's the, the type the only one I've ever read do you know what you were doing on this day 1972 uh, would, would have been in Athens winning the... Uh, no, you'd what? have been recording Blue is the Colour. Was it really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, memory, is it? Number three in the charts, yeah. I remember yeah. We were going up there having a... Uh, you're a bit of a singer, though. I've seen you with a microphone. You're a bit, you're a bit handy, well, you are. I'm not so sure about that nowadays. Top of the Pops one? Was you yeah, on Top, top of the, the Pops? Top of the Pops, yeah. That, but uh, we went up to Highbury to do the song and then we appeared on Top of the Pops and, uh, <laughs> you know... The, the lads had a few drinks to get the voices going and yeah. we did have a couple of ringers in the background <laughs> singing with us like <laughs> the Beatles made, yeah. made, it, made it sound good yeah, yeah. yeah. well you can check blind. that out on YouTube blue is the colour have a have a look at the video Ron's in there number singing merry away number three in the charts in 72 it was for St against Stoke in the League Cup final yeah. Gilbert wasn't it? O'Sullivan was top of the pops number one was he yeah there Can't you go. The they were this. Claire? This, this, this is. I don't know. Claire. This is a bit like the chase, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Are you the yeah, chaser? Yeah, yeah. 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 Chasing a few balls yeah. in the zone. Yeah. Anyway, we're, we're back. Fulham on the weekend. It's Sunday away at Fulham, and we're back next Thursday. Dano of Kiev in the Europa League. Thanks for watching today. If you want to book these two, the number was on the screen earlier on. You can book them for one of your events. <laughs> Who'd want to miss out on that? We'll see you Thursday. Visit the ChelseaFan12.com website today to keep up with all the latest Chelsea news and statistics. It's also the place to find signed shirts, photos and works of art featuring past and present legends. Sign up for free now at ChelseaFan12.com For the fans. I thought he, he done ever so well today. And when we check out, we, we just make it easy for teams to defend against us. Is that why you sent them home? Because you weren't out with them. And I'm not being funny. Have you got a bush tucker troll coming up or anything like that?